just waving. Hopefully, somebody will help them. If it's uh, what do we think? Is this going to be a proportion? A proportion. A proportion. A proportion. So why do we need this proportion? Because they either stop or they don't. Okay. So we have a success. A success is that they stop. A failure is that they go. Okay. So another thing is for a proportion problem, we have something else. Like for, for, for a, or like I was thinking like for a mean, you have like standard deviation, but how could you like find the standard deviation of like people that are going to stop and people that won't? It's just uh, so true, be careful there. This is, this is categorical data. Let's, this is categorical data because we have successes, failures, but we do get a, with, with our distribution, we do get a standard deviation. It's just that you're kind of, you're kind of right on that. The other thing is that we have 85 what? 85 cards, which is, yeah. is right, it makes a sample, but you're doing 85 <coughs> another trials. 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 Yeah, you have 85 trials. So you have a given amount of trials that you are checking, and you can take multiple samples out of that. Whereas for number two, number two is going to be a, we're looking at the number of squirrels in an area, and I guess, Kenny, you're in the, you're in the right area where we can say that. If, can we take the mean of the amount of squirts? Yeah. So then that seems like it's more like a mean problem. The mean is because well, we can take the mean of it. Any other reasons why? Do you have a do you have a set number of trials? No, no. No, you don't have a set number of trials. So the trials not set, and we can take the mean of this. So that's a good point. Those are all really good points. The other thing we may want to ask is, do we have confidence intervals or hypotheses? In other words, do we have a set value that we're checking? Is it close to this value or is it not? So are we checking if it's close to a certain value? No, that's a hypothesis test. A hypothesis test maybe for uh, drivers is, are half the drivers gonna stop? And then you say, well, yes, no, and you can move along with the hypothesis. Here, we don't know what we're going to get. These are going to be confidence intervals. So here, this is just to get the idea across. But in any AP problem, they're going to tell you specifically find the interval for the proportion, for the mean, and then you can go around it that way. Okay. Uh, for a confidence interval, we tend, to, we tend to say, well, here it's asking, how likely is somebody going to stop? Well, we don't have a value that we're testing. If we said something like, um, well, it would say something like, is it, is it likely that half the people will stop? So you're assuming that your hypothesis would be half the people will stop, and you're assuming, you're trying to find out, is that a different value? Is the number actually different than that? So here, we don't have a value to test. That'd be a hypothesis. So we have like a null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, and then we would use our yeah. 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 All right, so that's going to be a um, question. Oh, no. For sure? Oh, no. I'll ask you. All right. All right, so this is what we're going to be working on here today. We'll focus more on top of intervals. Uh, but just to get us started, a quick announcement is Apple is having a uh, fundraiser today after school at Blaze in La Habra. So uh, if you have the opportunity, it's all the way up until 9 p.m. You can stop by and support Apple. Uh, another thing is we have a re review session on Saturday at 9 a.m. So if you haven't come to any review sessions, it's a good chance to get a last review, uh, kind of like a mock exam before the test. So what we'll do is we'll spend some time doing a mock multiple choice, mock FRQs, and at the very end, we'll save at least an hour, if not an hour and a half, just to go through some of the questions. So we'll spend some time there. So if you haven't done one already, um, then come on out if you can. And that's the one for credit, right? Yeah. Yes, so if you haven't done any of them, so you have to have four, four weekday sessions or one of that one Friday that we did. If you didn't do either one, then you can come by for this, but we do need about 25 people to, to make sure it stays on. When you say the Friday, you mean the like Friday, right? The first day of spring break. Right, so if you didn't do that one online, then this one's still available here. And I think we're <coughs> cutting it close. We have about like 19 people. We still need about like uh, four or five more people. For what, for Saturday? This Saturday, yes. And how long would that one? 
sign up, just so I know, because I so I'll bring food so I can prepare uh, ahead of time. So while we get started, I'll pass out the sign up sheet in case you want to sign up. And how long will it take? Uh, it goes to about one. So I will give you something. I got a good tip at work. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, again, we're at FRQ. FRQ FRQ uh, 2010 number three. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Just have out your package if you don't already have ready. Uh, we have three parts, and this is how we have a confidence interval for the portion. So before we get started, uh, I should have passed out to everyone a gold packet. Also, you have a, a white packet that can help you to summarize. So either one works fine. Just know that everything in the white packet is summarized even more in the gold packet. You will see some similarities, but just that the AP test doesn't it doesn't give you everything in detail. Yeah, and I, I'll point out as well um, how it's. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started here. There's three parts to this question. Just focus on parts A and B to begin. So again, just focus on parts A and B. I know the guy. Because I was like, 